I'm Christy Fosey. I graduated in 2008 and I am a mechanical and electrical engineer. I am executive director of product cybersecurity at Aptiv, which is an automotive tier one supplier, it used to be Delphi. I did my co-op with Magna and Tier. And my first job, I designed the Chrysler minivan stow and go seat. And then as a junior at Kettering, I got recruited by the CIA. And so after I graduated, I went to Langley, Virginia as an engineer and worked uh, for the government. That was uh, in the same era of the Bin Laden Task Force team type initiative, so that was the type of work that we were supporting, again, from a technical perspective. And then after, you know, we got the number one terrorist in the world, it seemed like a good time to leave, like, on top. So I decided to come back to the automotive industry, come back to Detroit, come back home. And then in 2015, the Jeep Cherokee was hacked by two security researchers and I decided to take my government intelligence background and my automotive engineering background and I went to, at that time, Fiat Chrysler, which is now Stellantis, to help launch their global vehicle cybersecurity program. I did that for a couple years, then I went to Mitsubishi Electric and did the same thing there. And now I've been at Aptiv almost three years, basically doing the same thing, really launching the way that we think about how do we protect our vehicles. I chose Kettering for the co-op, for sure. Classroom learning provides a good foundational element, but trying to transfer that and convert it into like the real life business world and how do you actually get work done and, and develop a product, uh, I just really wanted to understand that. I think, you know, for future students, you have this really great opportunity at this university to just understand what is available out to you in the world. But you also have this huge network of people that work in all these different companies. I think there's this misunderstanding just in general about the engineering degree that it's like somewhat limiting. And you know, even like the Fortune 500 CEOs, a large majority of them have bachelor of science in engineering backgrounds, right? Because engineering fundamentally teaches you how to solve problems and there's always going to be problems to solve. Uh, so having a way and a method and a philosophy of how you do that and being really interested in that and wanting to be challenged by that, I think that just continues um, throughout your whole career. So I think this misconception that if I go to Kettering, the degree programs, maybe not as broad as it could be at other larger universities, but I don't think that that's limiting because I think you can launch from anywhere with an engineering degree.